In this video, I made the ultimate mob farm. This farm produces a bunch of great loot such as arrows, bones, string, and gunpowder. It also produces a lot of XP. What's up guys, Jason here. Welcome to episode 15 of Minecraft Survival. To get this episode started, I'm going to collect some bamboo. I'm going to need that to make scaffolding for the farm. Luckily, there's a jungle near my base. I see some bamboo over here. Oh look, some pandas. You know what, I think it would be cool to feed them some bamboo. Oh, it made it get up! Oh, here's some more bamboo. Where's all the bamboo? Let's see, will this jungle have a bamboo forest? Oh, I see the one over here! Perfect! Check this out guys, there's so much bamboo! It's so cool I can chop it all down so quickly. Just for fun, let's see how much bamboo I can get from using TNT. Oh, it hit the phantom too. Wow, that's so much bamboo. Alright guys, now that I have enough bamboo, I'm going to go look for some spiders to get string. Let's see, will this one drop any string? Hey, it did. I'm going to need a lot more though. Oops, so many mobs are following me. This crossbow is so fun to use, look at this. I can hit multiple mobs at the same time. Oh no, cannons are attacking me! Those things are so annoying! Let's see, can I shoot them out of the sky? Yeah, I got that one. Oh, creeper exploded. Alright guys, now that I have a good amount of string, I'm going to go to the ocean to get a trident. Here we go. That one's holding a trident. Ah, oh, I didn't drop a trident. Will this one drop a trident? Please drop one. Hey, it did! Now that I have a trident, I'm going to head back to my base. Since a lot of farms in our world are over here, I'm going to make the mob farm over there. I plan to make the farm high in the sky, so I'm first going to create a bubble column over here. This bubble column will allow me to easily access the farm. Check that out guys, the bubble column is now complete. Now I'm going to make a sky island over here. Nice, I am now done making the floating island. That grass will eventually spread to the other dirt blocks. Now I'm going to make the floor that the farm is going to be made on. Perfect, now that I'm done making that floor, I'm going to start making the farm. To get it started, I'm going to create a trident killer. These hay bales will help prevent mobs from dying of fall damage. That will be the trident killer in this farm. It will automatically kill all the mobs. Now I'm going to create the collection system. This collection system will collect all the loot from the mobs. Now I'm going to make the center tube kill chamber. Now I'm going to create the first mob spawning layer. To help speed up the building process, Mackenzie is going to help me build. Alright Mackenzie, let's place some scaffolding on this platform. In this far, mobs will spawn below the scaffolding. Check this out guys, we're done placing the scaffolding on this first layer. Alright Mackenzie, now let's place water in each stair. This water will push all the mobs that spawn into the kill chamber. Now we're going to create the second mob spawning layer. Now that we're done making the second mob spawning layer, we're going to create the roof. By creating the roof and having blocks behind the stairs, no light will be able to get into the farm.
Now that we're done making the roof, we're going to create a building around the farm to make it look cooler. First, we're going to create the walls. Now that we've created the walls, we're going to create the roof. Now that we're done creating this roof, we're going to add some more detail to the front wall. I think it will look really good with some wood pillars. Nice, we are now done making the pillars. Alright Mackenzie, you make a sign up there while I make the entrance. Check this out guys, we're done making the mob farmer sign and the entrance. I am now going to build an entrance for the bubble column over here. Over here I'm going to display some mob loot. Check that out guys, I think that area looks really cool. Now I'm going to create a seating area over here. I am now going to show you all a tour of the build. Down here there's this bubble column that leads to the island. Over here there's the outside entrance and the storage area. In the back there are some decorations. Finally in the center there's the mob farm. I am now going to test out this mob farm. To use it all I need to do is flick this lever up, close this trap door, then stand over here. Mobs will spawn in the mob spawning layers so then get pushed into the trotting killer. They will then get automatically killed. I will collect the XP over here and all the loot will get funneled into the collection's chest. Whenever I'm done using this farm, I can flick this lever down to shut the Trident Killer off. I can collect all the loot down here. If you want to learn how to make this farm, I recommend you check out my simple 1.20 AFK mob and XP farm tutorial. A link to that tutorial is in the description. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Minecraft Survival. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching!